Hey everybody, this is Meredith Brown, your registered nurse with no time for wait. And I'm coming to you today because I want to shed light on the questions that many of my clients have as they're working towards their weight loss transformation. And so as they are going through the process, I put them on a diet plan, a meal plan, okay? And I also um, have them take measurements and they are well, on scale weight and things like that. Uh, we also go on an exercise regimen. But some of the things that they're telling me is like throughout the journey, they notice and they say, well, Meredith, I'm doing everything you asked me to do, but the scale is just not moving, okay? And I know a lot of people love to watch that scale weight move. So let me encourage you with these three things. Number one, losing inches is way better than you think, all right? The scale doesn't know the difference between lean muscle and body fat, and so it just measures everything. And let's face it, the bathroom scales are not accurate, are not 100% accurate, um, so hopefully that part helps as well. Plus, losing inches is much more accurate and more preferable than the scale weight. Um, because let's, let's all honestly understand your, your clothes tell all the story. It don't lie. All right. Number two, you're setting yourself up for much bigger wins. Okay. Over the long run in the future, because why muscle takes up much less space than that. Your body weight also fluctuates daily. So if you're the type that gets on the scale every single day, you may set yourself up for disappointment because um, especially as women, our weights fluctuate due to hormone changes on a daily basis. Even women that go through menopause, our, your weight and hormone levels are still changing, okay? Some people are on medication. Medications do have side effects. Um, so just keep that in mind. And then also, as you begin to shed the fat, your muscles now be, um, help to increase your metabolism and one pound of muscle that um, that you burn uh, muscle one pound of muscle burns between 30 to 60 calories daily so just imagine what will happen as your body fat is shedding and your muscles are now picking up and taking up that other space okay your your calorie burn is gonna go through the roof okay so Number three, you want to work smarter, not harder, all right? This is definitely not totally disregarding your weight loss, okay? I understand weight loss is important. The weight loss will come, all right? It's just going to take some effort, all right? And we're not perfect, so we always have to tweak things, exercise programs. You don't want to always do the same exercises daily. You do want to switch it up and kind of, you know, mix up your heart and your body because your body programs things and it, it, mem it memorizes everything and so it will no longer work to where you want it to because it's obviously memorized that particular exercise and those particular foods so here's some few things we're just right in there what you can do if you still stuck on you know do the weight loss is very 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 important we just don't want to say no to it okay one tr take photos of everything that you eat for the next four days, okay? Over the next four days, take photos of, you'd be surprised at what you actually are eating in compared to what you think you're eating, all right? And then another part of that is drinking water. As we drink more water, our body hydrates and it sheds fat, okay? So remember, dehydration equals no or less fat burning, and then what you also can do, a lot of things I like to tell some of my clients is you want to trick the brain, okay? Resizing your plate. So for instance, let me get this. For instance, if you normally eat, okay, out of a dinner plate, the dinner plate for most people is going to be this size, all right? So what you want to do is downsize and resize your plate to a much smaller size. Why? Because you actually end up eating less calories when you go from here. Makes sense, right? Mm-hmm. For some reason, we always feel like we have to eat this because then we have to fill up the plate. All right, and then recolor your plate, okay? 
we have red, black, and white in our house. So what you want to do is the foods that you eat is going to be a contrast, okay, to the color of your plate. And one tidbit for that, if you don't have any color plates, go to your local party city or go to your Walmart and pick up a blue color, okay, because a lot of times we don't like to eat foods that are blue. And so blue would be the perfect contrast for your, um, for your plan, all right? And last but not least challenge yourself to do the color resize over the next four weeks all right then when you do that you'd be surprised you actually will eat even less calories okay so challenge yourself give yourself um and celebrate the small wins the the big movements that you make because understand this if you feel more hydrated if you feel less fatigue, if you feel less bloating, if you feel any difference in towards a positive movement, you are heading in the right direction, okay? So guys, I hope this was helpful. If you um, feel free to share any of your tips below this video, feel free to comment as well. And I would love to hear from you. If you have any questions about anything that I have, any tips, you want more tips about what I have, please go over to my Facebook fan page and follow me on No Time For Wait. And I look forward to working with you in the future. Have a good day, bye.